waking up, preparing your body, waking up, eating the proper food, waking up and already stay in the mindset, taking into consideration that you know, watching on the phone too much, being distracted by sounds too much, being distracted by what's going on on the outside too much. This is not the way to go. Just stay in this observation mode, always watch yourself. Stay in this observation mode and then slowly, slowly you can start and you build up from the morning this energy level then. Unlock the power of Qigong with Shi Heng Yi as he reveals the importance of the first 20 minutes of your day. Yeah, Qigong classes, people sometimes now they still understood as working with energy. Now, a lot of times when you go nowadays into so-called Qigong classes, you realize very often people are also having a background music playing at the same time. So there is music together with the practice. And if you ask then the people, so what's the point of like using the music? Then it certainly is because it is adding something to you. It is adding something where you know about if this is where you would like to go. You want to become a little bit more peaceful because you had a, a hard day. So we have peaceful music merged together with peaceful movements and merged together with a peaceful way of breathing, which does help. Shi Heng Yi explores the significance of roots in Qigong, emphasizing the preparation and discipline needed for growth. Learn how challenging exercises lay the foundation for lasting benefits. You are going to learn that your body is important just as your mind is important. And based on this very basic idea, now it starts. Now somebody may be asked, okay, now, yes, I want to develop the mind. How should I do it? And then in the Shaolin Temple, traditionally we are teaching Buddhist teachings, Confucianist teachings and Taoist teachings. So three, let's say teachings aiming in the development of the mind. So you are reading theories, you are reading essays, you are reading different texts, maybe some of them describing the life of one of these persons, meaning Buddha or maybe Lao Tzu or maybe Confucius. Yeah. By putting yourself into the skin of those personalities, you may be maybe or maybe not get a glimpse of ah okay so this is how they were living this is the virtues that they inhabited in themselves why they are behaving in this this and that way these were some type of virtues that they were abiding to that they kept as a guideline in their daily life that is like where the theory part in a way tries to already offer you something. Offer you something because at the end of the day it's still up to you to decide whether you take what you have observed there as something that you think is useful for you. Or if you just say I cannot relate to it, I don't know what they mean, what it means so it's not relevant for me. This is like in terms of theoretical aspect. And then at the same time, we have the physical practice, which means it is the Kung Fu training, it is the Tai Chi training, and it's the Qigong training. And practical means because by doing some type of practice, you get answers. Sometimes it's answers you didn't ask, but nevertheless, the important part is that through the practice, there is some type of information and some type of knowledge being transmitted to you along the way of practice that will never ever come in this lifetime if you would only read books. The knowledge from the practical, the knowledge from the theoretical, this afterwards you take. 
what it means is you have a field of knowledge, you have an area that now at any time, wherever you are going in this life, you are able to access it. And when, when are these times to access it? It is times when you are being placed in a situation where you need to take a decision, for example. No matter from which country you're coming from, no matter from which culture somebody is coming from, this whole life is based on the decisions you are taking. Join Chi Heng Yi in a journey through Qigong's roots. Discover the parallels between martial training and strengthening your life's foundation. Gain insights into the pain and discipline necessary for building roots, creating a solid base for personal growth. The first 20 minutes of your day set the tone for lasting vitality. If I start to do some type of training, no matter what it is, at a certain point I am reaching my level where I either feel the exhaustion or sometimes I'm also feeling the level of pain that I'm able to take. And now the question is, what are you going to do exactly at this borderline? And a mindset that I think is paying off later, big times, is when you're starting to incorporate into your daily life, into the daily perspective and understanding that this world has not been created for you to only enjoy the peaceful aspects about it. People ask me in the, in the type of trainings, yeah, so for what should I now stand half an hour in that position? What is it good for? Why should I breathe like this? Why should I breathe like that? Why is the, why is the finger positions like this? Why is it like this? Why are there so many different things? You just can't explain it by words. Somewhere these words are hitting a barrier. And that barrier can only be broken in the moment where the knowledge, the intellectual knowledge, starts to transform into action. And that action is going to bring you the answer. And this answer is what in our tradition we really refer as that is knowledge now. Or sometimes we call it wisdom. It is that type of knowledge that came because of your own discoveries. That is the real knowledge. Right now, the bigger the house becomes, the more the oven needs to work, the more heat it needs to generate. How you do it, besides the fact of adding more wood, you need more air. We need more capacity. What do I do when I want to start increasing the performance level of myself? Number one, for example, eat more, but I need to have better capacity and better refined breathing mechanisms. And this is where it simply comes into the practices that are, for example, known as Qigong. Some people nowadays say Qigong energy practice. Yes, it's correct, but sometimes you get lost with your energy. I don't know which type of energy. So breathing. Okay, for me, Qigong is simply the part of increasing the capacity of your lungs, which means once you inhale, you try, you try to inhale as much as you can. This is the first level. And the second level is increasing your ability in adjusting also the, the oxygen, the air level inside of you. And now when you maybe watch later at, in the moment where we are doing our training, the more I start to sweat, the more different my breath has become. Very naturally. When you start running, why suddenly the body naturally draws in, wants to draw in more air. 
because you are asking something from your body, performance, and in order for your body to deliver it, he needs fire now to burn. So this is the moment where also the air, the inhalation, the exhalation starts to increase. And because it's getting tiring, uh, tiring, so you're getting tired, what is it essentially that keeps the fire going? So, and this is now the special thing. Either you have an iron will, then you just, then, 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 the, then the amount of fire that you can produce is super, super high. If you by yourself have an iron will, then you can just keep going like a machine. Okay? If you don't have an iron will, you need something that is giving you, that is like substituting, for example, this iron will. I have things that give me iron will. For me, it's a vision. I have vision for something greater. Yeah, I, or you would might say it's hope. Or it can also be, you can think about a person. Why we think physical training, physical activity, practice, is something that teaches more than just how hard can you can you punch, how fast can you kick. It's not about that. I don't care how hard or how fast somebody can punch, but I care about how is the mindset. What happens if you walk through this lifetime, something unexpected comes. And then there it is. Something that we call choice. You have the choice. The suffering comes and you run away. Or the suffering comes, pain comes, and you face it. And the second approach, this is something what the Shaolin Way is representing. We are overcoming the suffering. We are not running away from the suffering. You are overcoming it. You go through it until you have become so strong. Your body will become so strong. Your mind has become so strong that it doesn't matter afterwards anymore.